dramatic video as firefighters in Connecticut carried out a dangerous rescue at the height of yesterday's storm. A truck with two people trapped inside was sinking in a marina in Stamford. The firefighters had no time to waste and used a very risky move to reach the people inside. I would use reporter Joe Torres talked to the firefighters about how they managed to pull it off. There is no level of training that can adequately prepare or recreate the type of dramatic rescue performed yesterday by two dozen members of the Stamford Fire Department. Hey, hey. Two o'clock yesterday afternoon in near whiteout conditions, 40 mile an hour winds and an unusually high tide, firefighters and dive team members rushed to the marina in in Cummings Park to rescue two people in a partially submerged pickup truck. And they were banging on the windows in the car. Um, nobody was out of the vehicle, but it was it was more than 50% underwater. To reach the sinking vehicle, the firefighters performed a risky maneuver. They stationed their fire truck on snowy soil and fully extended its 95-foot ladder parallel to the ground. Praying to God that nothing would happen, especially with soft grounds, especially when we set it up on What's, what's the fear? What's the danger? Of tipping. The female driver of the pickup squirmed her way out of the vehicle, and firefighters pulled her to safety, but the male occupant was too big to fit through a small window, and that's when the pickup started to sink. He was a pretty tall guy. Uh, the back window was kind of small, so he was kind of wedged in between. And uh, his whole body, besides his head, at first was submerged. So I started trying to smash out the back window, but I couldn't see if I was getting through the window or not because there were so many, there was ice chunks flowing and the, 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 van, the truck was sinking. In fact, the truck did sink and the occupant went under for a harrowing 15 seconds and then popped up out the back window and firefighters grabbed him. Deputy Chief Matt Palmer told us they were inches and seconds away from a tragedy. The vehicle was actually floating away from us. So even with the reach of the tower ladder, uh, we were at maximum capacity on that ladder and we had literally seconds to try to capture the, the individuals in the vehicle and get them out of there. So how did the pickup end up out there? Stanford police charged the driver, a 37-year-old woman, with reckless operation. Investigators say, she was doing donuts in the parking lot, and as she exited to leave, she drove off the retaining wall into the water. In